You are now listening to listening to Rick Hurts. Rick Hurts. Niggas hate, but I ain't worried, no, I ain't worried about them My only goal is to keep courage and make it off the bottom Oh, I was raised by the Chinese, though Even though I ain't Chinese, though Right by the Irma Wai in the corner store Diamond girls guarantee you see all the hoes used to come in the store with all of the jits from the projects and he would steal. One time I called him and when I called him to come back in, he told me to suck his dick. So on another occasion, a couple of days later, I seen him in my studio next door. So I said, what you doing in here, bad ass jit? He said, fuck you. So Coley and Pooh was in there. They were like, let him chill, let him chill. A couple of days later, I walked in and I heard that Ambition record. That's when I knew he was a star. He was always a badass project baby. You know what I mean? He was bad as fuck, but he had a talent. I don't even know that he know how much talent he had at the time because he was young. You know what I mean? He was a G, he was like 12, 13. But when you hear his music, you like, what the fuck? He been here before. You know what I mean? He been here before, he's special. And he was a black ass nigga too, like me. So I'm like, damn, his name Kodak. He was Jay Black. Then I say, nah, his name Kodak. And it was on from there. Polo Pooh gave me that name and shit, you know who I, I used to run with and shit, you know what I'm saying? That's the first nigga with so much guns I've seen in my life, you know what I'm saying? You know, let me hold the Uzi, all type of shit. They used to try to keep me out the streets and shit too, so I, re I respected that. Some people, they be thinking they need to be dumb and shit, you know what I'm saying? They just look at me and just already, you know what I'm saying, discriminate, stereotype, whatever. But like when I was in elementary school, I used to go, I used to go to the camp. I used to do spelling bees. And I used to beat like high schoolers and spelling bees. I didn't even know how I was spelling them words, but I just always knew like, okay, I'll get there, but I was bad. I was bad, but I was smart. You know what I'm saying? I was finna go to this private school. Like when I was young, if I would've went to the private school, I would have been away from all that shit. But then if I would have stayed in school, all that other shit, I probably wouldn't be who I am, you know what I'm saying? In elementary, like my dogs and I used to do, they used to perform prep rally. So the boys who was in my grade, I, I had racked them up like, come on, come on, we finna start doing it. Every time it's time to go perform, they'll like say they stomach hurt, shit like that, you feel me? Oh, I can't do it, I got a headache, cause they shot, you feel me? But I was never shot. Like even like my delivery, like when I'm talking to somebody or when I'm performing, it's like I mean it, you know what I'm saying? Type of shit. So a lot of people picked up on that. They started taking me to the trap piles and shit to like rap and all that shit, meet the older boys. So all the younger kids, they started hitting on me because I could be around the older boy. The older boy let me in the trap, little shit like that. So, you know, they were feeling some type of way. I stopped hanging around them. Because, you know what I'm saying? I'm rapping over them. I can be in the trap, you know what I'm saying? But then, them boys started taking me to the real studios and shit. But then, you know, I was still feeling like, I don't know, but we trying to, trying to get over, bitch. We ain't trying to make it. But it's the project, you feel me? The, one of the last ones standing too, you hear me? Right here, apartment 13, 1601, Ohio. This is our stamp of ground, you hear me? It's where Kodak got braids up from, you feel me? And where he really got the soft the juice from, you feel me? Like, got kicked out when he was 16. I wasn't just witnessing, cause I was, you feel me? Can't tell you, but you know, woody woo, whatever. He was there, he kept it strong. This really like the gutter. Your mom live out here, but you're driving cars like this here, you feel me? Like, it's crazy, you feel me? Yeah, we trying to live in this flashy life, but we still starve out here. Real talk, you see, another bar. 
another bar where, where, where the trees at, another one. So you hear me, like another one over there, another one, another one. There's no escaping. There's no escaping. You hear me? That's Mika Haas. This little, this, this Haitian nigga right here, he still, he still mean as fuck. He be on some fuck shit, you feel me? What happened to Julie? The lady actually stay right here next to him, you feel me? She should have a shotgun. You come walking by her high, she putting that shotgun on your ass. They surround us by a wall. Tell you the truth, I feel like they surround us by the wall because they want to keep us caged in. Don't let, they don't want to let other people see what's going on. Let other people see, like, why it's still a neighborhood like this around this area. For a kid growing up here, man, you gonna get beat up. You gonna you gonna learn how to sell drugs. You gonna you gonna you gonna learn how how it feel to lose somebody you love. You feel me? It, it, it's it's a lot of ups and downs out here, but it's it's miracles too. She always tell me how thankful she is. She always tell me she appreciate that. She appreciate this. She remember this. She remember me doing this. All this shit like that. Yeah, like she really like crying. To the point where I don't even like. Like I, oh, I'm, I'm crying and shit. But it's to the point now. I'm like, alright, man. Little shit like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You welcome. Nah, um, thank you. You know what I'm saying? Thank you. Nigga appreciate the more cause we came from nothing too though. See, one time somebody had robbed her for, for, for like her tax money and shit. Then that's why when I said on the song sign, I was like, when mama got robbed in July, I watched her cry. So I don't care about yours, cause they ain't care about mine. Little shit like that. So then it was like, fuck everybody, mama. I'm snatching mama chain. You know what I'm saying? That shit just like, damn, what the fuck? We already ain't really got it like that, man, y'all. Bitch, that's my mama, you know what I'm saying? Even if you don't know who I am, bitch, that's my mama, you know what I'm mean? saying? Little blood, sweat, and tears for this whole life shit, you know what I'm saying? Blood, sweat, tears, and revenge, you know what I'm saying? And revenge, you know what I'm saying? Every week, too, I go check in with my people and shit, you know what I mean? I just bring up my itinerary, like, okay, I got this show, this show, I'm going to the street the other day, like, ooh, 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 ooh. and what time I'm gonna be back home, all that little shit like that. They got it pros and cons, they don't be liking the work in this shit, like, you know what I'm saying, whatever they got to do with law enforcement, I ain't trying to be there, you know what I'm saying, but, you know, it's, it's, it's like, a nigga kind of like signed up for this shit, you feel me? My first time getting arrested, I did 21 days. A real deal burglary, like it wasn't just no little petty shit. But when I was in, like, in the battle police car, I was just like ready for it, like for whatever. Like whatever this shit about to be about or whatever that's, that's gonna go on in here. I mean, I'm gonna be ready for it. Before I got locked up, I already kind of like hit a couple of highs and shit. They wasn't like, okay, my first time hitting the highs. I got locked up, so it was like, I was expecting that shit to happen like one day. Can't keep getting away like this here all the time. Climbing up no cabinets, ain't no honey ones in the cabinet. Yeah, everybody fresh in school, you ain't, you ain't really fresh. So nigga like fuck that. Only time I was coming to school and I done hit me a lit and I got new clothes on. He ain't know how far this can go because he a project baby. He was still hitting licks. You know what I mean? Eating monkey faces and mollies and still hitting legs and he was still doing his thing in the streets, still getting fucked up on the road and still breaking the houses. When I pull up in that drop, nah, huh? it's hard, yeah. huh? you ain't never snatched no cars, huh? I live in hard. When I jump out with that rod, huh? Yeah. Uh, you ain't never pull no cable, huh? I ain't getting paper. When I jump out with that banger. Nigga blood raw with that on sugar coat. You know what I'm saying? I talk about the struggle, I talk about how I got it now, I talk about what I did to kid here, I talk about everything, you know what I'm saying? Then it's like, you gon' relate, even if you fake, even if you ain't been through none of that shit, when you listening to my shit, you gon' feel like you been through it, you gon' feel like, damn, for real, like, I can see myself, you know what I'm saying? It's like a movie, I, I feel like you in this movie right now, I don't rap, I illustrate, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, you know what I'm saying? Everything I see is like, you see it vividly.
when Lil Brother spit that pain, he tell you how it is. It ain't just cause, oh my gosh. Is he for real? No. It's oh my gosh, why he was living that? Why did he see that? Why did he even have to go through that? This all that nigga know. Bitch in a project, my whole bitch lie, like, you know what I'm saying? Nigga been in that shit like they whole lives, but like, but really just been in this shit for like two, three years. You know what I'm saying? So it's like I'm more, like niggas be more used to what they know. I say, they gave Lamarcus 25, that my man. Remember, he ain't listen, running up them pen. They gave Le Grail 16 years in the pen. For all my niggas locked up, I'm going in. I think about Le Grail, I think about Marcus, little shit, and I remember what we used to do and shit. I'd be like, damn. Kodak's biggest challenges right now is, is not the music, it's, it's his situation with the law. The mistakes that he made as, as a teenager carrying over to his adult life and causing him to like to be restricted, you know, but at the same time it's giving him nothing but time to work, you know what I'm saying? It's keeping him focused, so it's actually pushing him, but it's a scary situation. I got too much songs, dog. For real, like, I'm gonna pick all these shit. Listen to all of them again. Yeah. Keep listening to all of them. Keep listening. Yeah. The process. I ain't trying to see the pen, I'm trying to make a shake. Neighborhood hero, I'm the one that gon' save the day. Chosen one, my fault depend on me to make a way. Do it for my nigga, locked up doing day for day. They gave Lamarcus 25, that my man. Hey. Remember hitting lists and running up the band. Hey. You gotta think about it. Yeah, 13, it's like the story they already heard. People gonna listen to what they wanna listen to. Like, okay, like, 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 what you call it is just drop the album. And just off how the beat go before it started off, like, I'm not listening to this song. Just by the beat, you'd be like, I'm gonna listen to this song. Some people have different shit, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> My love, baby, twin. Hey, 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 hey. I be out here, I be, yeah, 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 yeah. I be on that man. Hey, 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 hey. I be on that man. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah, I gotta put Tunnel Vision. Tunnel Vision, Dago got it on the album. Tunnel Vision, Dago got it. There you go. Because they're already popping. So now you got 11, 10, 11 more records to put on this album, right? Yeah, you got about 10, 11 more. <laughs> we just gave you 30. I'm playing 30 songs on the album. Oh, congratulations, kid. Hey, hallelujah. I put this bitch ugly, man. Papa, what about you got banger after That's banger. 13, Everybody's it's gonna yeah. ride. It's gonna yeah. ride. So 15 is is ton of vision and there you go then. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah. You, yeah. Put you put 13 yeah, got, bangers they and got two. 13 fresh new ain't unheard. So if you line up flying. Gucci. And they gonna keep listening to that bitch. Once we once we find out, we just gonna woo woo. What do you think? Woo woo. Woo woo. Come on, that's it, I'm good. Yeah, yeah. Like this shit, 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 this I don't know if I really like you, but that's why I sent him, I sent him to you and shit, you know what I'm saying? He always was a sniper. Like, he always was a sniper. And, and, and we, when we saying sniper, like, as far as, like, for all us around, Kodak somewhere in the cut just watching. Just soaking it up, a fly on the wall. And he got so many different personalities, like, I didn't even know he was, like, snapping on, he was this badass motherfucking jit until, like I probably just stood and went to the projects and just seen him, how, how bad he was. When he round us, he a totally different person. And he round somebody, he a totally different person. You know what I mean? Huh? I think so. What do you mean though? Nah, what you think it means? Yeah. I was asking you, I was trying to say it from right. I can't see my room. It means before anybody else. You were looking at your phone. Before anyone else. No, I, I started Yeah, but before, before anyone else. Oh, you had knew that already? Uh-huh. 
Yeah. Real shit. Yeah. I did. That's all I was gonna say. I just wanted to say just one thing. Oh. Uh huh. So you calling nigga bae and shit? Someone bae and shit? That's what you mean, nigga. <laughs> I'm asking you if I'm bae. It's, it's up to you to mean that it's, 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 I'm bae. Am I before anybody else? I mean, I'm not entertaining about that at the moment, so, yeah. Uh, at the moment. That's what I just said. This the moment right now, the Kodak moment. You, 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 you. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Huh? Yeah, I, I, I ain't got peepers. I ain't got peepers either. You said what? I ain't got peepers neither. You know what I mean? mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm testing the water. I'm checking everybody's temperature right now. My mom and my, and my daddy, they ain't together and shit. And he wasn't in the picture. If you were around, I probably wouldn't be, you know what I'm saying? I probably wouldn't be one. I don't know. I thought about that one time when I looked up, like, man, I think I do want to fuck with him and shit just off the screen for, you know what I'm saying? Like, he gonna die one day and shit. And then when he die, I might be like, damn, I don't, I don't even feel no type of way, kind of. I'd probably just feel like, damn, that's my daddy, he gonna worry about that one day. This shit, man, I don't even think I'm gonna cry. I probably don't cry. I don't know, probably the day, when the day come, I probably. But I don't think, no, nah, I don't even think I'm gonna cry. You know what I'm saying? But I should, I should cry. You know what I'm saying? But the only way I'm gonna cry is if we have a relationship, like we vibe, little shit. I don't even know how to fish. I don't even, you know what I'm saying? I do look a little, a little handsome, you know what I'm saying, with my shit. I might grow my shit back, though. They mine. It's mine. It ain't like, it ain't like, it ain't like, like, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm buying some other shit, or there's a horse here, or none of that, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> if you can't grow it, sow it. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah, sow them things back in. Hmm. If you don't have it, plant it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, babe, babe, if you can't pursue it, glue it. <laughs> hey, babe, babe, if you can't achieve it, weave it. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. 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 <laughs> it be nerve wracking. Like my PO even said, like, oh, she's scared for me for when I get out house arrest, cause she know like I might just go, not do no dumb shit, but it just like, I'm free, like I'm free now. I'm just I'm finna go to the hood. I'm finna go to the project. I'm finna hang around my niggas. I'm finna, you know what I'm saying, shit like that. And that's what she's scared of. You got three and four yos. I wanna listen to Kodak. Kodak. They don't even know their ABCs, but they know Tunnel Vision. Shit, he probably could be bigger than Michael Jackson. <laughs> probably if Michael Jordan be bigger than the Michaels. Shit, if he stay out of trouble. We can't go nowhere. We here. You know what I'm saying? But shit, if he could get out, he's he, he'll feel free. That's all. Ain't nothing like freedom. Freedom to do what you want. Freedom to go where you want to do. You know? It's just that freedom. And sometimes I'd be scared of that shit too. I'd be thinking like, damn. <laughs> you feel me? They gonna let me out that cage, they gonna feed me and let me fly. You feel me? And that shit. His voice was out there. He had that drive and that ambition. Just like, just like that song he did, you feel me? Like, when you had ambition and you had that drive, and when you want something, when you really want something, how can you, how can you fall? You no, know, when you do fall, like we do as humans, when we do fall, you gotta know how to pick yourself up. It's all about a mind thing. If you ain't strong in the mind, how can your heart understand what the goal is? 
because your heart gonna keep pumping. You don't want your heart pumped for no reason. Cause you could just go just to be on go. Or you can be on go and succeed and keep being on go and always have a check at the end of the day. I want that shit to go far, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's nobody business. I want it to go, like, I, I want it to go far, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, got real far. Like, right now, I ain't ready to, like, that bread try to leave my old girl, leave my mom and shit like that. But, you know, I'm in the bread child and shit. We gonna keep this crib right here. You know what I'm saying? She gonna stay here, then I'm gonna, I probably want to cast what y'all say, the earthquakes and shit over there, so I probably not. But um, yeah, like you know what I'm saying, I'm, uh, I see myself in a, in a big little crib, wife and kids, yeah. Yeah, because I want a wife, I ain't really trying to be no player out here. Yeah, party baby, these serious to my conscience. Yeah, party baby, sniper gang, these streets to my conscience. Take your body with me on that same thing. I don't gang bang, but I bang bang. I pulled up to the club, I got on eight chain. Took that bit of wings and things, she wanna be my man. Brown look up, made my dog insane. Boot it up with geek, it's the same thing. Fish kill a it's the same name. Murders by the stains, which gang you claim. The big patty face cost ten chains. Took your bitch out to eat on the private plane. Real talk, one fizzing when it's plain jank. For the black behind the dumpster for some cocaine. Oh, it's your boy Lil Wright, man. Your boy caught up, bro. You ain't got little juice in the know. Even though I'm behind the walls right now, my fans, God, my family, my art and my team is keeping me alive. Just for the fuck when you lock, just like you did. The only difference is you can see who will be throwing flowers on your grave. I'm very excited about my first album, Paint the Pictures. You know, I somewhat feel like Tupac reincarnated since he dropped this album while he was still incarcerated. He released it in March, just like me. And we both Gemini's. But we might feel like Biggie and Pac are running all together, so you could call me Big Pac. <laughs> I feel like I'm being nominated for a Grammy right now in the world. I hope no one overlooked me, you know. I hope you understand. I'm still working. I ain't perfect, but I'm trying. I love and I acknowledge all my diehard fans, aka Cold Up Fanatics. I love the feeling I get when you pass out at my concert because you're so stunned that you actually seeing me in person. I love it when I'm stuck on my face with a mouth full of food and you bomb rush me out of nowhere for an autograph. You know, you know I saw for the time I couldn't take a picture because I was exhausted from performing or my cheeks were hurting from smiling too much or I was on the go and I couldn't miss my sight. I respect and I honor you all for being with me from day one, motivating me and leading me on through all my situations, watching me grow, watching me develop and manifest to the young man I am today. So every song is a chapter of my life, and every mixtape and album is a story. I tend to paint a picture and bring you into my world. You know, I use these roadblocks and stepping stones to come out strong, you know. No one makes that scarf, not even the meekest. And we thought it was going to be easy anyways. I never said I was an angel, but since I've been in the projects, people seem to notice my appearance before they notice my intellect. Before I say a word, they stereotype me for my permanent gold teeth, but I back it up with a keen and knowledgeable mind. You gotta feel my pain, my joy, my torment, and my happiness. You'll see how far I came if you know where I've been. I'm inclined to remind the youth not to look where you come from, they take where you're going. I feel compelled to reshape the Haitian culture and bring back the positive angles. It's what I want to say, but most of all, I want to humbly thank God for this vision. I want to thank my mother and my brothers. I want to thank Atlanta Records and my whole Sniper Game team for believing in me and my infinite potential and working proactively and diligent. Thank you, Pistol.